What is up you guys? Today I just have a quick video of some tips and tricks to being a custom shoe artist. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are new and not subscribed, please subscribe for more. Okay, so I'm just gonna get straight onto this video. So first thing, um, I still keep getting questions on what, how do I prep my shoes before I paint them and what products I use. So I have showed this in a couple videos. Um, I'll show you guys again. Uh, the first thing is makeup, re not makeup remover, um, nail polish remover, um, also known as acetone. And this is 100% acetone. It says it right there. Um, I would go with this brand or just a brand that does say 100% acetone. It's really, really strong and most nail polish removers are not 100% acetone they have some um, scents and stuff mixed into it so you do want to get the 100 percent um next thing that you're going to need is if i can find it next thing that you're going to need is cotton pads or cotton balls these uh this is for putting um, the acetone on it and you're just going to use this to wipe it down on the part that you're going to be painting on the shoe the reason why we do this is that on the nike shoes or on leather in general um, usually has like a top coating to it so that it makes it kind of shiny. It's like the finish that they put on it um, in the factory and wiping that off you're not even going to notice it if you wipe it off. Um, so it's not like you have to wipe it off like directly where you're going to paint. Just wipe it in the part that you're going to paint it. You're not going to notice if you don't fill up that spot with paint. It's whatever. It just helps the paint stick on the shoe better. Okay, so after you are done prepping, you're ready to paint. And now the paint that you want to use, and I have said this um, in other videos before, but um, the paint that you use is Angelus Leather Acrylic Paint. This paint, uh, it says, I'll go ahead and read this to you. Um, also works on canvas, denim, fox leather, mesh, nylon, wood, and much more. Angelus Acrylic Leather Paint colors may be mixed to obtain other colors. It is also best to apply multiple thin coats rather than a few thick coats. When properly applied, Angelus Acrylic Leather Paint will provide a flexible, water-resistant finish. Test on an unseen area before use, blah, blah, blah. So, yes, it is a very good paint to use on leather and clothes and all that stuff. Um, if you are unfamiliar with Angelus Paints, they do have some tutorials on Angelus' YouTube channel. Um, I can link that below, but yeah, that's what I do, or that's what I did when I was beginning. I looked at some tips and tricks that they had, um, just so you know what products and stuff to get. Um, when painting on shoes, you really only need the paint, but if you're going to airbrush and stuff like that, obviously you need a little bit more tools. All right, so when you are done painting, the last thing that you will need is a acrylic finisher. They have a couple different types, and again, this is from Angelus. They have a couple different types. They have like a matte finish, a glossy finish, and then just regular. I just have regular. It doesn't say anything on it. Um, normally, the matte and the gloss would say like acrylic finish or gloss or matte. Um, so that's the one that I have. Um, I don't like... I think it's like semi-gloss. Um, it's just like normal. So it does kind of like leave a little shiny tint. But um, I don't like the super glossy, and I might try the matte sometime, but they say it's a little harder to use matte um, if you're not airbrushing it. And I don't airbrush. So I just use this with some paint, I mean with uh, a paintbrush, and then just put it over the dry paint, obviously. Um, Angela's paints dries pretty fast, so once you're done painting, give it a couple minutes, and then make sure with your finger or whatever that the paint is dry before you go and put on this finish and then you're going to want to let this set um, i can read you what it says about the directions using a paintbrush sponge or rag apply evenly to leather and allow it to dry do not apply excessively or rub for a long period of time during wet or dry humid weather dyeing time may be in drying time may be increased if applying over leather dye Make sure the article is dry before application. For smooth leathers only, do not use on suede. Angelus Acrylic Finisher is a modern water-based finish, which when dry gives a non-cracking, flexible, water-resistant finish to leather. 
Acrylic finisher may be applied with an airbrush when spraying. Apply a light coat to avoid surface track. Tack. Oh, like tackiness. Um, so anyways, super simple to use. Um, and yeah, that's how you finish it. And with all those steps, that is how you properly customize shoes. That is going to give you the best custom shoe design um, as in good quality and all that stuff. Everything's water resistant, everything's flexible. So make sure that you are not using regular acrylic paints or anything like that. Do your research, just go with Angela's paints um, and they're pretty affordable too. All right, you guys, I told you it was gonna be a short video, but um, I had a lot of people on my TikTok and even some comments on YouTube just asking to go over all that stuff again. Um, I think this is the most I've gotten in depth with it, but um, overall customizing shoes is pretty simple, not too many steps to it. Um, you don't have to go crazy with anything like that, no sanding or anything like that. Um, so this will probably be the last video I have on explaining it. Um, and then all those other videos on uh, different products that you need as paint wise and finishers and stuff like that, the best place to look is on Angelus because depending on the product project and stuff that you want to be doing um, and if you're airbrushing and stuff like that, I am not knowledgeable in that field. So um, go ahead and check them out. Like I said, I will link their page down below. And like I said, you guys, follow me for more tips and tricks. Next video will be some tips on how to paint faster and more efficient. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.